We're gonna do a capsize drill here. Mike, you got your glasses on. I know. Okay. So, in the event of a capsize, the one thing you should remember is stay with the boat. Don't try to swim for shore. Right now, I don't know how it looks on camera, but it looks like we're very close to shore. Even if you know you can make it, even if you're a swim team kid, don't swim for shore. Stay with the boat. The boat will float if it's sawed in half. So one other thing I want to point out is before we do the drill, we open up all of our sheet lines all the way out to their stop or not. Now if you capsize not on purpose, okay, you'd have to do that once you're in the water, but we do it ahead of time to make sure that we're not catching any water in our sails. So oh, all wind. of our sheets are open to our stop or not. gathered up before we right the boat. Now how we're going to do it today is once we get this boat to go over, okay, we'll make sure we're clear of all the lines. I'm going to stay in the water with the boat. Mr. Griss will go around to the underside of the boat and he's actually going to stand on the centerboard. That's what actually rights the boat. Now I'm going to try to get in the boat as he's writing it from whatever side is going to be in the water, which in this case is going to be our port side. Okay, if I don't make it in the boat on the first shot, not a big deal. It's always easier to get in from the stern of the boat. So you stay with the boat, go to the back of the stern of the boat, hold on to it and wait there and anybody that's in the boat will help you get in. Okay, so now we're going to attempt to do a capsize drill. Can see the center now, board. I'm going to make sure I'm clear of the lines. Mr. Chris is going to go to the center board. I'm going to try to get in to the port side. So you can grab here. Very hard to flip the boat back back up. You can see that boat came over very, very easily. Um, if you look, if you get the camera and go to the top of the mast, you'll see, I don't know if you can see it, the shadow behind the sail. We have a float up there. That float prevents the boat from going completely upside down internally. So um, as Mr. Varen said, if if you if the main sheet line and the jib sheet lines are uh, unsecured and not latched down, uh, the boat should come up fairly easily. All right. 